Welcome to the Wayfair Explainer series. My name is Afshan and I'm a data scientist on the recommendations team here at Wayfair. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about Bayesian machine learning. I assume that most of you are familiar with machine learning, well, classification, regression. I'm going to talk you through a problem and then show you how this can be applied in a Bayesian framework. Well, let's say you want to classify between a hot dog and not a hot dog, right? So you have a set of points here. Say you have two features representing points and feature one could be the length of the product you're dealing with and feature two could be the squishiness. And we're, we're kind of, we can look at this and say, let's try to build a classifier that on the basis of feature one and two, we'll be able to tell you the next time you see a product in a little box, whether it's a hot dog or not, just based on its features. And how machine learning solves this is that we try to build a linear classifier, a, a line that can essentially separate between these two features in some metric space. The way machine learning deals with this problem is it tries to find you one line though, one line that can accurately represent which is a hot dog and which is not a hot dog, right? The problem is what happens when you get a data point here? This is not a hot dog. That is some, it's a little squishier and maybe a little longer than all the hot dogs you've seen before. And in, in the machine learning framework, you're gonna misclassify it. You're not going to be able to tell it's a hot dog because based on your past data, it's not consistent with what you think hot dogs look like. So what if you were to use a Bayesian framework? Well, in a Bayesian framework, this line is an equally valid line. And this line is an equally valid line. So we consider this whole family of lines based on this data that we show. And then what we essentially try to do is that instead of predicting a single slope or a single weight, we try to estimate a distribution over weights, right? So here we're kind of saying that, hey, this is the optimal level of squishiness, but it could be like maybe a little less or maybe a little more. And the width of this graph tells you how confident you are about the weight being centered around this point. So the mean value is some W with some measure of dispersion or standard deviation. In a Bayesian framework, the beautiful thing that you can do is that you can continue to update your weights based on new data. So the minute you start seeing more hot dogs in this space, you're gonna keep changing your model such that it shifts in such a way. So now you could have a completely different W. Or if you get more hot dogs in this space, you're going to keep increasing your confidence. So Bayesian machine learning allows you a very easy and algorithmic way to quantify the uncertainty in your model prediction. Hey, and this can be really important because say you're designing a self-driving car and all you've seen and on all the data you've seen, you're trying to identify person, not person. Well, this can cost you someone's life. So we do not want to mess around with machine learning models that don't quantify uncertainty. Another cool thing about Bayesian machine learning is that you can incorporate smart priors. So at Wayfair in particular, we use Bayesian machine learning to rank our products, right? We have products that are represented by certain features and we know that feature one can have certain properties that make it more desirable to people, right? And so when times change, when seasons change, when product, when people's preferences change, we know to boost feature one in our Bayesian framework. And that will automatically give us a sort that learns constantly on users' preferences. And so Bayesian machine learning has so many advantages that we need specifically in a production environment at Wayfair. It forms the basis of a lot of our recommendations algorithms and it's one of the coolest algorithms out there. I hope that you walk away with this learning something new today. Thanks for listening. Check back again soon to hear more about the projects we're working out, tackling here at the Wayfair Data Science team.